<sighs> Welcome, what's up pretty kitties? My name is Taylor and I am here today to guide you through a power two class. We'll be together and practicing for 60 minutes. Tam will hop on in a little bit to be my demo body for the class today. So if you ever need a visual, she'll be here to take care of us. Um, these past few weeks, I've been talking about the chakras and we're slowly working our way up uh, the chakra system with each class. So today we are on the solar plexus chakra, which is located back by the spine, um, above the belly button and beneath our diaphragm. Uh, it's also called the Manipura chakra. Uh, and this chakra is greatly based in our ability to stand in our power, our fire, our strength, uh, and our intuition. And this can be really challenging at times. Uh, today, in the past couple days, I've been feeling really sensitive and really kind of overwhelmed. Like I tripped over um, a hose today when I was gardening and I burst out into full tears, right? So there's times where no matter what is happening, life can be chaotic. It's hard to stand in our power and stand in that strength and all knowing that we have the answers for ourselves, that we are our greatest teacher. Um, but that's what the solar plexus chakra is all about, is us finding that uh, solidarity within ourselves. So we'll explore what that looks like on and off of our mats. Uh, as we flow today. If you have props, you're welcome to snag a couple blocks. Otherwise, we will just hop straight into child's pose to begin. And take your knees apart outside of your hips. Bring your big toes to touch behind you. And then stretch your fingertips forward as you ground your forehead towards the earth. Let your breath Find an even and steady pace here as we begin our physical practice. But notice where you're at today. Maybe you're feeling a little more powerful than I have been the past couple of days, or maybe you might be feeling some heaviness too. And know wherever you fall on that spectrum is exactly where you need to be. And the gift of stepping into our power, finding that strength within ourselves, is that even when we feel small or weak, or we want to shrink ourselves, that's really when it's the most potent to step up and to stand tall and know that whatever it is you're feeling is where you need to be. Today, I'd like to offer a mantra to you all that I will repeat throughout class to help us come back to this idea. I am strong. I am intuitive. I am powerful. I always remember those things, and I'll remind you too. Let's tap into our breath here. Big inhale through your nose. Take a big open mouth exhale. Let's do one more with an open mouth. Inhale deeply through your nose. Open lip exhale. Now say your lips for Ujjayi Pranayama. Fill up through your nose. Powerful exhale through your nose. Create an oceanic type sound. This breath is all about building heat and fire in our practice. As you may have guessed, the solar plexus um, postures that fire it up are a lot of core strengtheners, so get excited for that today. We'll, we'll feel nice and powerful shortly. Inhale your way through tabletop. Sag your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. Give yourself some wiggles, and I will cue up our playlist. The title of it is What Day Is It? Because I don't know, do you? We will press play in five, four, three, two, one, press play. And then come back to your free form movement. Shift side to side, forward and back, up and down. Notice what movements feel good in your spine, where you might feel some stickiness, some tightness, some resistance, and flow accordingly to prep your body for what's to come. Looking good at home, y'all. Take a few more rounds of breath to move. Balance yourself out. And let's find our way back to a neutral table. Squeeze your belly in. Inhale, cow pose. Drop your belly to the earth. Lift your gaze and your tailbone upwards towards the sky. Exhale, cat. Tuck your chin to your chest. Puff up through your shoulder blades. Squeeze your belly tight. Inhale, cow pose. Soften your core. Pull your chest forward. Exhale, cat. Drive your palms into the earth. Press yourself away from the ground. Good, inhale back to neutral. Extend your right leg back, send your left arm forward for spinal balance. Right away, tapping into our center power of our body, our core. Squeeze your belly button up and in. Take a rich inhale here. 
Exhale, cat curl, left elbow towards your right knee, puff up your back, it's small, yeah, nice. Inhale, spinal balance, lengthen. Exhale, cat curl, hug it in. One more time, inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze and compress, tiny ball. Good, inhale, lengthen and listen. Keep your right leg extended, drop your left palm to the earth. Tuck your left toes under and float your left knee a couple inches up. So we're still keeping a bend in the knee, finding a floating straight leg tabletop situation. It's great. Pause here, squeeze your belly, deep breath out. Inhale to three-legged dog, straighten your left leg, send your right leg high. Bend your knee, fan your hip open. You're welcome to move in this space or stay static. Drive your right shoulder down to help your upper body stay level. Mm, nice flip dog lee. Come back to an extended right leg, deep breath in. Exhale, knee to nose and step to a lunge. Right foot by your right thumb. Take some organic movements here. Shift forward and back, extend your right leg, then rebend your knee, maybe drop your left knee down. There's no right or wrong. This is your time to help lubricate your hip joint to open up your hamstring and your hip flexor on the left-hand side. Two more breaths here on your own. Beautiful options at home. Let's come back to a strong low lunge. Lift your left knee up if it's down. Ground your left palm to the earth. Inhale, twist open to the right. Pause here. Spiral your heart open and drag your right hip back to the back of your space. This should help you open your outer hip a little bit more. Scissor your thighs together. Pop your left hip up in space. Take one more breath in here. Listen for the change. Exhale, wide leg forward fold to the left. Take both hands to the inside of your right foot. Spiral around. Point all 10 of your toes in uh, the same direction so that your feet are parallel and explore here. This is our ragdoll for today. So bend your knees a lot, grab opposite hand to opposite elbow if you'd like, or if your hands are touching the earth, maybe play with moving them around, right to left, grab your ankles, let your head be heavy. Really nice, y'all, looking good, beautiful choices. Let's take three more rounds of breath here. Lift your kneecaps up slightly to help activate your quads and lengthen your hamstrings in doing so. All right, exhale your air, stay here. Inhale, little mini half lift, keep your hands down, lengthen your torso. Exhale, lunge to the top of your mat. We'll set up for modified pyramid. Lift your left heel high like you're wearing a stiletto and drag your right hip back as you slightly straighten your right knee. We don't want a full extension, a little micro bend is nice. One more breath in here, lengthen your torso. Then exhale, melt your chest towards your thigh. Inhale, lengthen, gaze forward. Walk your hands out in front of your right foot. One leg, half lift. Bring your left leg up to the sky. You're welcome to stay lifted like Tam is doing so here. Shoulders in line with your hips or drop your belly down towards your thigh for more of a standing split. Depending on how your hamstring is feeling will determine how far you let yourself melt down, right? Not one variation is better than the other. You are powerful either way. One more breath in, kick a little higher. Exhale, forward fold, bring your feet to touch. Good, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold, once again, compress. Inhale, mountain pose, ground down, rise up. Pause for a moment, draw your shoulders down, wrap your pinkies in, knit your belly towards your spine, get strong, get long here. Find an inhale, listen for the change once again. Bend your left elbow, grab it with your right hand for a tricep stretch. Good, inhale to lengthen, then exhale side sway with a tricep stretch, lean to the right, press your hips to the left. Big expansion through your lat here, as well as your upper arm. Hold for your exhale. Inhale back to center, extend both arms straight up. Then switch it out, bend your right elbow, capture it with your left hand, and sway to the left as you exhale your air out. Pause, bring your core in, drive your tailbone down to support your low back here. One more exhale breath. Inhale, back up to mountain, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, cactus your arms, open your heart space. Inhale, rise to mountain, grow tall. Exhale, forward fold, hinge from your hips, melt down. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen up. Exhale, high plank. Ground your palms, step back, stack your shoulders over your wrists. Find a natural cadence of breath here. And focus on the breakdown of this posture, right? Does it make you feel powerful to be here? Sometimes a little weakness and power go hand in hand, especially in plank when we're holding for a while. But can you appreciate the ebbing and flowing of the emotion of the sensations here? Press the floor away from you, squeeze your belly in. Inhale, shift forward slightly. 
Exhale, lower to Chaturanga or to your belly, your choice. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Pull your chest forward, open. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. Good, inhale, shift forward, back to plank. Exhale, tabletop, ground your knees down. You're welcome to wiggle it out, reset as you need, and we'll take it to our second side. Inhale, your left leg straight back, your right arm forward, spinal balance, hold. Notice where you have to hug tight and engage to hold this shape on its own. Then lengthen a little bit more as you breathe in. Exhale, curl your elbow beneath your body towards your knee. Inhale, reach, expand. Exhale, cat curl, hug tight. Inhale, spinal balance. Exhale, curl, final time here. Inhale, reach, stretch, pause. Keep your left leg where it is, ground your right palm down. Tuck your right toes under, float your knee up just a couple inches, breathe. No, we're not here for too long. Kick through your left heel, keep your leg as straight as you can. Pause for your exhale breath, hug your core. Inhale, three-legged dog, press up and back. Really beautifully done at home, friends. You're welcome to bend your knee, fan it open, organic movement, do your thing. Couple breaths. And let's meet back with squared hips, extend your left leg. Exhale, knee to nose and step to your lunge, left foot by your left thumb. Surf it out, take time here, set it up for yourself. The same way we have unique lives, emotions, things that we're going through, our bodies are just as unique, right? So figure out what that intuitive teacher within you is telling you to do here to prep yourself for your practice, to prep yourself and your hamstrings for what's to come. Start to make your way back to a low lunge. Ground your right palm, inhale, twist to the left. Spiral your heart open to the left side of the room. Hug your thighs together as if you had a block in between them. Peel your left hip back. Let's take one more breath in here, expand. Exhale, wide fold to the right, spiral around. Readjust your feet, turn your toes forward. Hi, and let your torso melt down. Again, we have a little bit more time here to explore. Maybe take it somewhere different than you did on the first side. Maybe you hold exactly where you are, right? Again, this is that intuition, that internal teacher. You'll hear me talk about this a lot this evening, right? But it's so important that you know your body better than anyone. And your practice should reflect that too. Last exhale here. Bring your hands beneath your shoulders. Inhale, little mini lift. Exhale, pivot to the top, sit up, modified pyramid. You're welcome to hop your right foot in slightly, lift your right heel high. Melt your torso down towards your left thigh. Keep a soft bend in your knee. Level your hips by squeezing your left hip back. Rotate your right hip forward and down. One more inhale here, lengthen. Exhale, melt your torso down. Good, inhale, gaze forward, lift up, and shift into one leg half lift. Bring your right leg towards the sky. Spiral your right hip point down towards the earth and squeeze your right booty cheek to lift your leg a little bit higher. Now maybe stay or melt your torso towards your thigh, like a little hug for yourself. Beautiful, Tam. Let's take one more breath in here. Kick. Exhale, forward fold. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, compress. Breath to movement. Inhale, mountain pose, rise up. Bend your left elbow, capture it. Exhale, side sway, tricep stretch right. Inhale, back to center, reach. Switch it out, bend your right elbow, capture sway. Inhale, lift up, mountain pose. Exhale, cactus back, bend open. Inhale, mountain, reach for the sky. Exhale, forward fold, take it down. Inhale, half lift, create some space. Exhale, chaturanga, plant your palms, step, maybe float back. Friends at home, just a reminder, if we are floating back, catch with bent elbows to protect your shoulder girdle. Exhale, downward facing dog, take it up. Beautifully done, friends. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your space. Walk step, maybe float there. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Good. Inhale, mountain pose, ground down, rise up. Listen for the change. Exhale, chair plane, bend your knees, sweep your hands back behind you, get low into your hips. Maybe lean forward so much that your ribs come a little closer to your thighs. Hug your core up and in, away from your thighs. Squeeze your pinkies together. All right, inhale, chair pose. Take your arms up. Good. Can you still ground more weight into your heels here? Maybe float your toes up to create that sensation down and back. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, chair plane. Listen for the change. Inhale, open mountain twist to the left. Rise all the way to stand and spiral your chest 
Keep your left foot down, Tam. Sorry, there you go. Yeah, just open up, twist. Yep. So rotate from your belly button up. If you guys are lifting your knees up, that's cool. You guys are getting a little extra spice here. <laughs> Pull your right hip forward. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Stay for one more breath in. Exhale, chair plane. Come back through center. Swim it down. Sink low. Good. Inhale, second side. Open mountain twist. Both feet stay grounded as we compress our belly up and in. We're using our strong obliques here to help us revolve our heart space open. Let your gaze shift in that direction, maybe over your back shoulder. Hold here for your inhale, fill up. Exhale, chair plane, come back through center, sink down. Inhale, chair pose. We'll change one more time. Exhale, drinking bird, hands back, heels high. Now option to stay here, just focus on your balance power that occupies your body. Squeeze up and in towards the medial line of your body. Sink your hips low. Stay static or maybe add a little pulse. I see you pulsing, Lee. Get it. Here, three. Just two. One. Inhale, chair. Heels down, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Really nicely done at home, friends. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, chaturanga, your journey to down dog. Step floats. Make it spicy. Cool it down. Right? It's your practice, your intuition, your agency. Exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg up and back. Exhale right knee to your right tricep. Tap as high as you can. Good. Inhale three leg dog. Re-extend. Exhale knee to your nose. Curl. Inhale three leg. Lift it up. Exhale cross to the left. Rotate. Inhale re-extend. Three leg dog. Exhale lunge. Step forward. Inhale to crescent lunge. Rise up. Good. Right away, press your left heel over the ball mount of your left foot. This will energize your left hamstring and glute. Press your hip forward. Squeeze your right hip back. Hug your belly in. Right. This is a really powerful posture in and of itself. Just statically hold here. We build a ton of strength. So feel yourself fill up with more strength, more endurance. Take a deep breath in. Big transition. Exhale, floating cat curl. Drive your right knee to your nose. Sweep your palms back, almost like our airplane torso with a knee to nose curl all wrapped up into one, right? Big fiery engagement through your belly. If you're wobbling, you're just as strong. Stay here for your exhale breath. Inhale, one leg mountain, flex your toes, lift your arms up over your head, keep the balance. Dial your left hip down and squeeze your right butt cheek, both butt cheeks really, but especially the right one to help your hips level out. Inhale here. Exhale, open twist to the right. Twist away from your bent knee. It's a little funky, a little different than what we usually do. Hug your left hip back to neutralize your low body. Fight the temptation to completely open to the right all the way. Stay here for your exhale breath. Inhale to one leg mountain, come back through center. Exhale, standing splits. Take your hands to the earth, to props you may have. You're always welcome to bend your right knee for a little less intensity here. Take a deep inhale, kick your left heel high. Exhale, curl your left knee to your nose, squeeze in. Two more like this, inhale, kick up. Exhale, curl knee to nose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl, hug tight. Inhale, straighten your leg to reset. Exhale, step back to low lunge. Nice transitions, inhale, warrior two. Seal your left heel flat, spiral all the way open and up. Take time to dance it out, sway through your hips, move through your legs, side body stretch. There's no wrong or right way to go about it, right? I hope you're catching on that it's all about what you need. Stack your right knee over your ankle, pull your knee open and send your arms out from your mid body, strong and expansive in every aspect here. Stay for your inhale. Exhale, extended side angle, bring your right arm towards your right thigh, bring your left arm up or over your head. We're looking to stretch our whole left side body here to press the pinky edge of your left foot down Puff your hip up as you lean over your leg, as if you could back bend off of your own body. Hold here for your exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior, stay low, sweep high. Stretch through your right hip all the way through your fingertips. Lunge low, feel the fire and strength of your front leg. One more breath in here, listen for the change. Exhale, low lunge, cartwheel your hands down. Plant your left palm, inhale, open twist to the right been here before right we'll do a little different transition let's take one more full round inhale exhale skandasana to the left bend your left knee sink towards the back of your mat now you're always welcome to have your left heel all the way flat or floating slightly up off of the earth take time to settle in here stretch open through your side body maybe a little twist then we'll flow it out side to side bring your hands down or hands to heart lift up and over to the right sink your hips down 
maybe pause on this right side since we're here the first time. And then start to explore on your own. Shift up and over. No hands will be a little more strength-based. Hands down will be a little more grounded, a little more supported. Squeeze your inner thighs as you lift up and over. These sways are looking good, right? Ninja style, maybe some sound effects are included here. We're here for four. Bend your right knee in three. Low lunge to the top in two. Bend your right knee, pivot to face the front. Chaturanga, ground your palms, step back, find your flow. Any variation, y'all. You can handstand, you can chill it out, you could lie all the way down. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take your hips up and back, beautiful. Let's take a juicy breath in here, fill up. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Really nice. One more like that, fill up. Send it out. All right, let's party on the left side. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale, left knee towards your left shoulder, tap it high. Good, inhale, three leg dog, send it up. Exhale, knee to nose, curl, puff up your back. Inhale, three leg reach. Exhale, cross to the right, twist and tap. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, lunge, step forward. Inhale to high crescent, rise up. Take time to set it up, right? There's no rush. Drive your tailbone down by scooping your belly up and in. Maybe even finding a soft bend in your right knee if that helps you to lengthen your spine even more. Just like mountain, wrap your pinkies and drop your shoulders down. Take a juicy breath in here, prepare. Exhale, cat curl. Drive your right knee to your nose, launch up onto your left leg, puff up your back. Embrace the imperfections of this transition. That's what it's all about, the power, the strength. Exhale right here. Inhale, one leg mountain. Keep the balance, flex your toes, reach your arms to the sky. Now picture there is a master yoga puppeteer above you pulling your head up by a string, pulling your fingertips up by a string. Lift tall, inhale. Exhale, open twist to the left, away from your bent knee. Right, switching it up. Know that you are powerful even when you're unsure of transitions of what's next, of where to go. Rotate and stay for your exhale breath. Inhale, one leg mountain, reach skyward. Exhale, standing splits, take your hands down to the earth, float with control. Nice transitions, yogis. Pause for a moment, take a big bright inhale here. Exhale, right knee to your nose, curl in. Inhale, lift it up, standing splits. Exhale, curl knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Last time, curl it in, hug tight, compress. Inhale, splits. Exhale, lunge, step back. Inhale, warrior two, spiral open, ground your right heel. Surf it out, take time as you need. Is the heat okay, Tim? Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, and then settle in. Zip your thighs up and in as if your heels could come to touch without actually moving them. Drive your shoulder blades together, then down away from your ears. Awesome adjustments at home, y'all. Looking really good. Stay for the breath in. Exhale, extended side angle, shift forward, left arm to the inside of your left leg. Find this isometric fire between your arm and your thigh, pressing and pulling against one another to spiral your chest open, your right hip open. Good, stay strong in your breath, hold as you exhale it out. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach up and back, strengthen through your quad, press little to no weight in your right hand, lean like you could high five the space behind you. Last breath in here. Exhale to low lunge and pause. Ground your right palm. Inhale, open twist to the left. Take your left arm high, rotate from your belly. Let's find one more inhale here. Exhale, skandasana to the right. Bend your right knee, lunge low. Same deal here, you're welcome to stay or move it out side to side. Explore different variations. Tam's going for a bind if you want a visual on what that looks like. Right, you are your greatest teacher. I am strong, I am intuitive, I am powerful. Right, that means doing sometimes what we're afraid to do, what we think we can't do. Find exploration for one more round of breath. Ash, great question. Your feet are turned out slightly. Good, start to lunge to the top of your mat. Rotate your hips forward. Chaturanga, find your flow. Get that chin stand, Ash, looking good. Exhale, downward facing dog, beautiful grace. Hips high. Woo, all right. 
She a beefy one. That's our flow today. We're going to flow. <laughs> breath to movement. It's going to be good. No changes. Just the same, same. Let's flow it out. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Curl in. Puff up. Inhale your right leg back up. Exhale, right knee, right tricep tap. I lied. This is a change. Windshield wipe across to the left. Back to the right. Big, loud exhales. Puff up your back. Squeeze that core, y'all. Solar plexus party here for four, three, two, one. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, lunge, step forward. Inhale, high crescent, rise up. Exhale, cat curl, knee to nose. Squeeze it in. Inhale, one leg mountain, lift it up. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, standing splits. This time, a few breaths, y'all, to play, to stay, maybe jiva squats. We are just here for four, for three. Beautiful, intuitive movements. Last two. Get it, Tam. And one, standing splits. Right foot down, step back, lunge as you exhale. Inhale, warrior two, spiral open, take up space. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior, rise up. Exhale, lunge, ground your left palm. Inhale, twist right. Exhale, skandasana to the left. Good, inhale, lunge, pivot to the top, chaturanga. Good, exhale, downward facing dog. Get it, my friends. To the left, inhale your left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, curl and shift forward. Inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, left shoulder, tap it, windshield wipe across to the right, then to the left. Big exhales as you sweep, use your obliques. Yes, hug up and in. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, three leg dog, mm -hmm. epic y'all. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, crescent, rise up. Exhale, knee to nose, cat curl, hug tight. Inhale, one leg mountain, lift tall. Exhale, twist to the left, open up. Good. Inhale, back to center, rise. Exhale, splits. Take it down. Do your thing. Few rounds of breath. What is your internal compass guiding you to do? Trust that person. Right? You got it. Standing splits, left foot down, right leg up. Exhale, lunge, step it back. Inhale, warrior two, spiral open. Exhale, extended side, lower down, right arm up. Inhale, reverse warrior, sweep up and back. Good, exhale, lunge, ground your right palm. Inhale, twist to the left. Exhale, skandasana to the right, shift around, sink low. Good, inhale, bend your left knee, rotate forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Transitions looking awesome, my friends, beautifully done. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips to the sky, all right. Now let's take this beefy daddy flow and add a little more fun in. Deep breath in first, fill up. Let it go, exhale. <sighs> All right, let's do it. Inhale, reach your right leg to the sky. Exhale, straight to your lunge step. Inhale, high crescent, arms up. Exhale, cat curl, knee to nose. Good, inhale, one leg mountain, lift. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, one leg mountain, listen for the change. Exhale, full airplane, just a few breaths. Kick it back, send your arms back behind you. Lean forward with your heart, wrap your left hip down, just like spinal balance, right? Can you kick, but expand and lengthen? One more breath in here. Exhale, standing splits, bring your hands down. Stay for one more inhale, kick your left heel up. Exhale, lunge, step back. Inhale, warrior two, open up. Exhale, extended side angle. Friends, you have the option to stay right here or half moon pose. Shift forward and take flight. Flex your left toes like crazy towards your kneecap to elevate your leg even more. There's this saying that we talk about in yoga, tight is light. The tighter we squeeze our body, in theory, the lighter we should be. So find that engagement, that lift, that power within yourself. One more breath out here. Inhale, reverse triangle, lightly step back, straighten your right leg, sweep high. Exhale, cartwheel down to lunge, readjust as needed, ground your left palm. Inhale, twist open to the right. Exhale, skandasana to the left, shift up and over. Good, lunge to the top of your mat, chaturanga, find your flow. Good, 
Good. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful movements, y'all. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale, lunge, step with control. Inhale, high crescent, take it up. Exhale, cat curl, squeeze. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, open twist left. Beautiful focus. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, full airplane. Few breaths to feel it. Micro bend your left knee here to help energize your leg muscles to bone. Level your hips. Open your chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades onto your back body. Find a rich breath in here. Exhale, splits, hands to the ground. Stay for your inhale, reset. Exhale, lunge, step it back. Inhale, warrior two, open up, spiral. Exhale, extended side angle, stay or play. Right, don't worry about what you think you should be doing in this moment. What do you feel you should do inside? Squeeze and flex as you lift your right leg up one more inch. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, reverse triangle. Lightly step, straighten your leg, big side body expansion. Exhale, take it down to a lunge and pause. Ground your right palm. Inhale, twist to the left. Exhale, skandasana to the right. Bend your right knee. Good. Up and over to the left. Square your hips. Chaturanga at the top of your mat. Beautiful flows. Exhale, downward facing dog. Gorgeous yogis. Okay, friends. One more time. A little more spice. spice, spice <laughs> we like spice. spice. Solar plexus chakra. Yes. All right. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, lunge, step. Mm, I was mostly kidding. Step your left foot forward next to your right. Top of your space. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Sink your hips low. Reach your arms high. Drive your shoulders down and back. Good. Now exhale your hands to your heart. Inhale, shift forward. Lengthen. Exhale, prayer twist to the right. Hook your left elbow outside of your right thigh or between your thighs if that feels a little better. Now we want our torso down by our thighs, but can you scoop your belly up and in away from your legs? Like twist and ring out through your core. Press into your arm to twist a little deeper. Hold here for your exhale. Listen for the change. Inhale your left knee up, one leg mountain rise. Good, okay, funky transition. Exhale, twist to the left, swim it down to revolved half moon. Take your left hand to the ground, right arm up. Good, pause here, level out your low back. It's kind of like standing splits with a little twist around here. So stay here or exhale your right elbow towards your mid body, your left knee in, curl. Inhale, spiral open, revolved half moon. Exhale, twist. Nice, Aaron. Inhale, open up. One more time, crunch and curl. <sighs> Inhale, revolve, half moon. Step back, lunge, right hand down. Inhale, high crescent, sweep it up. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your right leg, lean with it. Let's pause an extra round of breath in this set. Puff up your right hip tip towards the sky, lean. Good. Exhale, full triangle. Shift your hips back. Option to readjust your stance. Lean forward. Good. Take your left hand up. Rotate your chest and ribs open towards the ceiling. Almost like a little back bend here. Trust your core strength. Trust yourself, your balance. You're welcome to stay here or take both of your hands overhead like you're holding a giant invisible beach ball of death. Tam's real excited for this one. Solar plexus fire. Yes. Breathe here and hold for four. For three, star pose and two. Inhale, star pose. Whoo, shimmy it out. Take what you need. A little dance, a little wiggle, a little shimmy, shimmy, shake. Beautiful. One more breath in and star. Get big. Exhale, cartwheel down to the top of your mat. Move through your flow, your choice. Hooey. Exhale, down dog. Whoo, all right. Beautiful friends. Last side, inhale. I guess we'll just lift our left leg up too. <laughs> inhale your left leg high. Why not balance it out? Exhale, lunge. Good, now step your right foot forward next to your left. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Bend your knees, booty down. Pause for a moment. Find your bearings. Take your hands to your heart center. Inhale, shift forward, long spine. Exhale, prayer twist to the left. Use your right elbow as a bind hook. 
Press into your elbow, your tricep to help revolve your heart open. Spiral from your mid belly. One more exhale here. Play with your edge. Good. Inhale your right knee up to one leg mountain rise. Good. Exhale. Twist to the left. Take your right arm to the earth. Swim it down. Revolve half moon. I know. A little funky, right? Take your right hand down, Lee. Left arm up. Good. All right. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale. Curl your left elbow, right knee, and turn into a little ball. Inhale. Spiral open. Exhale. Curl it and squeeze. Good. Inhale. Spiral open. Last time. Curl it in. Inhale, revolve, half moon. Exhale, step back, low lunge. Inhale, high crescent, rise up. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your legs, sweep back, pause and savor it. Ooh, nice expansive stretch through our whole left side. One more inhale. Exhale, triangle pose, shift your hips to the right, hinge forward. Notice the sensations of this posture. I am strong, I am intuitive, I am powerful. Let's put that power to work. If you did so before, take your arms over your head, find your giant invisible beach ball of core depth. Squeeze, as if you really did have something between your hands, hug them in, here for four, for three, last two, and one, inhale, star pose. Woo, shake it out, little dance party because we love ourselves. Solar plexus chakra, that's what it's all about. All right, deep breath in. Exhale, cartwheel to the top. Find your flow. Yes, get in handstand hops, love it. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, come down to your knees. Woo! All right, I see you working hard, beautiful friends. Give yourself a second, towel off, grab some water if you need to. All right, and you know, we're gonna keep the, the core train going. <laughs> we're going to start with some Superman rolls. If you have yet to do these, um, you're in for a real treat. Clear your space, make sure there's no children or cats around that might get smooshed by your body. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Uh, we'll start on our bellies today. Tam will take her arms forward and then lift her feet and arms up. So like we're in like Superman, right? Flying through the sky. Now, from here, we will roll to our right onto our backs and then keep our feet and our hands off the ground. So a little hollow handstand work here as well. And then we'll roll back to our bellies, feet and hands stay up, and then roll to the left. Yeah, hands and feet stay up, good. We're gonna keep doing this. Roll to your belly, yes. Feet and hands up, now we'll roll to the right. <laughs> Baby Charlie, roll to your belly. <laughs> and then roll to the left, last time to the left. Woo, and then roll back to your bellies. You guys look amazing. Now hold it up, swim and kick your hands and feet. Swim, 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 like there's a shark behind you and your life depends on it. Yes, get it, Ash, I see you swimming, girl. Get it, Sally. Love the variation. Good, now interlace your hands behind your back, bound locust, lift up. Squeeze, squeeze your butt cheeks, squeeze your hamstrings, point through your toes, lift a little higher, deep breath in. Exhale, release. You're welcome to gaze one direction or the other, hands by your sides. Woo, okay. We're going to continue our back strengthening with a set of floor bow to prep us with some fun to come later. We've done a lot of core strengthening as well and a strong muscle is a flexible muscle. So with that said, bend both of your knees at the same time, bring your chin to center. Now, a lot of times we grab one hand at a time. See if you can grab both at the same time or if you can't, then just do the opposite hand that you usually don't like to grab first. All right, flex your toes, stay for your exhale. Inhale, kick. Squeeze onto your belly or thighs. Engage your entire back body as you hug your inner thighs together. Lift your chin away from your chest just slightly. Get it, y'all. Nice, Anna, nice, Divya. Lift one more inch, deep breath in. With control, no slingshots, release, exhale. Gaze in the opposite direction you did before. You're welcome to windshield wipe your heels side to side. Close your eyes, they aren't already. Feel the power and life coursing through your body. Feel your heartbeat against your mat. Feel your back body expand as you inhale and let your air go. 
right? That is your fire, your power coursing through your veins. This place, your mat, this community is a safe space for you to shine bright. So often we dull ourselves because we think that's what other people want from us or we shouldn't have permission to be so dazzling, right? But you are fire, you are powerful, and you are intuitive, don't forget it. Start to bring your chin back to center, your hands beneath your shoulders, press up through table, plank, we'll make our way to down dog. All right, beautiful friends. Last little bit of flow and then we cool this baby down. Inhale your left leg high, I do mean the left side. Bend your knee, fan your hip open. You are welcome to stay right here, move or flip your dog. Bring your left foot to the right side of your space. Puff up your chest, open up, yes. Beautiful flip dog, friends. Stay for one more breath where you are. We'll meet back in three leg dog. Lift your left leg up. Exhale, knee to your nose, curl in, puff up your back, get super tiny ball about it. Inhale, three leg dog. One more time, knee to nose and hold, curl, puff, squeeze. Step your left foot forward. Inhale, standing splits, launch forward onto your left leg. Exhale, forward fold, bring your feet together. Inhale, chair pose, sink low, reach high. Exhale, chair plane, take your hands back behind you. Inhale, your left knee up, one leg mountain. Set up for dancer's pose on the left. Bring your left elbow towards your left side body. Capture the inside edge of your left foot. So thumb and big toe are on the same side. You're welcome to stay here or start to kick. Fire up the same muscles we utilize in bow pose, right? Your whole back line is squeezing as you lift your foot up and hinge forward from your hips. Spiral your left hip forward. We've got two more breaths here, friends. Play with your edge and know now that our release will be one leg mountain. So keep your balance. One more exhale. With control, inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, eagle pose. Cross your left leg over your right. Sink low, take your left arm under your right. You can always bear hug here or kickstand. I know your right leg is probably talking to you, but that's what we want, right? That power, that fire. Lift your bound arms up. Squeeze, keep your bind. Inhale your left knee back up. Exhale, eagle bound airplane. Kick your leg back, reach your bound arms forward. Expand and stretch. One more full round of breath here. Y'all got this gorgeous focus. Inhale to warrior one. Lightly step your left foot back. Take your arms up, unwind your bind. Hoo wee. Good, exhale, interlace your hands behind your back into a fist. Inhale your heart up, your fist down. Exhale, humble warrior. Melt your torso towards your thigh or the inside of your thigh. Let your head be heavy. Let your fist fall away from your back body. Squeeze your inner thighs for support, for strength and stability here. This pose is all about vulnerability within strength, right? And that's how it always works. We can't get one without the other, unfortunately. I've tried, believe me. Know that you've got this, whether you feel wobbly or sturdy. One more breath in here. Runner's lunge as you exhale, bring your hands to the inside of your right foot. Toe heel your right foot wide, scoot your left knee back, then drop it down to the earth. Friends, I'll leave it to you to explore here on your own today. You could stay right where you are. This is an amazing stretch or quad stretch or twist or any other variety of things, right? Whatever your sweet little mind can come up with, I'm here for it. Just let it be safe and intentional. There's a quote from Lao Tzu that I love. It's care about what other people think and you will always be their prisoner, right? And it's so true. We get so caught up in the external outlook of ourselves rather than just trusting what we know and who we are. Let that go, shed that space right here with your exhale breath, let it out. And slowly release your binds and variations. Toe heel your right foot back into center. Inhale, or rather lift up your left knee, find an active lunge. Then inhale, three leg dog, send your right leg high. Bend your knee, fan your hip open. Good, stay or flip your dog. Step your right foot to the left side of your space. Puff up your chest, open your heart, squeeze your glutes together. Gorgeous grace. Last breath here. And we meet back in three leg dog. Ground your right palm, right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose, curl in, squeeze tight. Good, inhale, three leg dog. 
lift it up. Exhale, curl knee to nose and step to your lunge. Inhale, standing splits, launch forward and up. Exhale, forward fold, bring your feet together. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, compress once again, fold. Inhale, chair, sink low, reach your arms up. Exhale, chair plane, take your hands back behind you. Inhale, your right knee up, one leg mountain, and pause. Set up dancer's pose. Take your right hand to the inside arch of your right foot. Stay or start to explore a little more depth. Again, it's not what you think you should be doing. Search for the answer within. We have a couple more breaths here for you to flirt with that space of uncomfortability. That's where the growth is. That's where we stand in our power. Last exhale, listen for the change. Inhale, one leg mountain. If it's ugly and wobbly, that's even better. Good, exhale, eagle. Cross your right leg over your left. Right arm underneath your left. Kickstands are amazing, so are bear hugs. Pause in your strength here. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Wrap your bind tightly. Keep your arms exactly as they are. Inhale your right knee up. Exhale, eagle bound airplane. Send it back. Hinge from your hips. Find the muscle memory in your body, right? We've been in these numerous different shapes throughout class to prep us for this moment right now. Good. Last breath out. Inhale, warrior one. Lightly step back, seal your right foot flat. Take your arms up, square your hips, take your feet wide. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back into a fist. Inhale, your heart open, your fist down. Exhale, humble warrior. Take your torso towards your left thigh. Appreciate any differences you feel from your first to your second side. Zip your legs up and in together. Where can you soften even throughout the intensity and strength of this pose? Right your face, unclench your jaw, peel your tongue away from the roof of your mouth. We have one more big breath in here. Exhale, runner's lunge. Take your hands to the inside of your left foot, toe heel it out, and then expand your stance as long as you can. Drop your right knee down. Explore here on your own. Tam and myself talk about this idea of finding the internal teacher. Uh, we had one time one of our teachers, uh, we were asking a lot of questions because we were very excited. We just wanted to know the answer to the journey of handstand. And she told us, you know, maybe if you stop talking and asking so many questions, you might find the answers. <laughs> we were like, oh, <laughs> right? Like we just forget sometimes that we have this all-knowing knowledge within ourselves and it's okay that we forget, but remember in this moment, right, how good your body feels. You did that, you made this happen. Last exhale. Gently release your variations. Come back through to a lunge, lift your right knee up. And this time just step back to high plank and pause. Hug your belly up and in, puff up through your upper back. One last plank hold to seal in that Manipura fire that we all have within us. This is your moment to revel in your power, your strength, your intuition. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, open your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in here, fill up. Open mouth, sigh, let it go. Inhale your right leg to the sky. Exhale, half pigeon. Bring your right knee to your outer right wrist crease, your right ankle towards your left wrist crease. Scoot your left knee back, peek over your right shoulder to level out your sacrum, your hip tips. Now you can stay right here, puff up your chest, maybe sleep your pigeon, or if another avenue is calling your name, right, you know what to do now. Follow your intuition, you know what's best. If this posture ever brings up pain rather than uncomfortable sensations, no worries. Recline figure four is there for you or more runner's lunge, any other options. I think a lot of times we confuse power for being like this brute, strong force of a person, right? But 
something that I'm learning is that the most power can be found in the softness of things, in the letting go. It's a hard lesson sometimes because we can be hard on ourselves when we feel the softness, the meekness, the tears over gardening, right? But that's where our power lies, is to acknowledge and to accept ourselves even when we're not perfect. That's true intuition, true knowing. We've got four more rounds of breath here for you to do as you please. If that means staying, just deep in your breath. If that means exploring, move mindfully. Last round of breath. And as you inhale yourself back up, get it, Ash. I see you, girl. And tuck your left toes. Press your way through down dog or three leg dog. Up to you. And we'll meet down dog to take it to our left side. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale, half pigeon, bring your left knee to your outer left wrist crease, your left ankle towards your right. Shift your right knee back, lengthen your spine, gaze left to help your hips. Again, level out here as best you can. Then surrender into your variation. One of my favorite quotes, it's a pretty famous quote too, so you might know it, um, is that our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, talented, gorgeous, fabulous? But who are you not to be? And that's what this holding on to our light is, that tapping into our solar plexus chakra is. It's witnessing the divinity within each of us, always. Right? We have our dark parts, but I think our capabilities, our brightness, our power is what we shy away from. But my challenge for you is to say no more to that than to shine like the beautiful bright star you are. Four more breaths. Do your thing. Last round of breath. to come back up slowly tuck your toes take your hips to the sky free leg or down dog last down dog of class let's take a juicy breath to seal her in deep inhale H A ha and come through to a seat then lie all the way down onto your back Find happy baby pose. Take your knees in towards your chest. Grab for the inner or outer edges of your feet, your ankles, your calves, thighs, wherever allows you to seal your spine all the way down. Welcome to rock, to straddle, to sway. And from the space, we have about 10 breaths of free movement. However you'd like to seal in your practice, please take the opportunity to do so here. Follow your light and remember, I am strong, I am intuitive, I am powerful. When you feel complete, and ready, turn into a teeny tiny ball of love, of gratitude for yourself, 
all the goodness, your light wrapped up into one small unit of space. Last inhale. Exhale, release Shavasana. Let your feet roll open, let your palms face up by your sides. Turn into a beautiful yogi puddle onto your mat. I'll let you know when it's time to wake up. This is the part where you get to drift away and soak up all of the benefits of your practice. Start to notice your physical body again. Bring yourself back in and deepen your breath. And then begin to add movement into your fingers and your toes. Until you work your way up to ankles and wrists. And then a full body stretch. Reach long. And roll to one side or the other. Use your arm as a pillow for your beautiful head. And you feel compelled to press your way up to a seat with your eyes closed and your hands at your heart. so important to take time for gratitude when we practice, when we show up for ourselves, because this kind of movement and time that we spend here on our mats is really what helps us and allows us to show up in our power outside of our practice and off of our mats. And know that even when the days are low and the highs are high, I see you for how powerful you are, for how strong you are, for how for how beautiful you are. Inhale your thumbs to your third eye center, sit tall. And exhale, we bow forward in gratitude. 
Namaste. 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 <sighs> Namaste, sweet, beautiful angels. I love y'all so, so much. Um, if you've got questions, feedback, um, you can either send it to info at soul19yoga.com or we'll keep the chat up and um, say hi for a second. Um, but really, really nice work tonight. Um, and thank you, Kim, for all of your hard demo life work, all that core work. She, she did great. Um, we'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. And Sharif's workshops on Saturday. Oh, yeah. She did a whole series of workshops mm -hmm. that is awesome. I was teaching it last time. In case you didn't hear that, because I know Tam is far, Sharif has workshops yeah. on Saturday. <laughs> Every Saturday. Different, uh, different subjects. subjects. That's the word. Wow. Okay. We love you. <laughs>